Yapahua is an ancient citadel located in the northwestern province of Sri Lanka. It served as the capital of Sri Lanka during a brief period in the 13th century. Yapahua was established as a royal residence and a fortress by King Buwanekabahu I, who ruled the kingdom of Polonarua. Here are the details about the kingdom of Yapahua, including its kings, rules, control systems, culture, economy, and people. Kings of Yapahua, King Buwanekabahu I. He was the founder of the Yapahua kingdom, Buwanekabahu. I moved the capital from Polonarua to Yapahua after facing invasions and instability in Polonarua. He reigned from 1272 to 1284, King Vijayabahu III. After the death of King Buwanekabahu Wust, his son Vijayabahu III succeeded him and ruled from 1284 to 1312. King Vijayabahu III fortified Yapahua and made it a prominent stronghold. Rules and Control Systems the kingdom of Yapahua followed a monarchical system of governance. The king held absolute power and ruled with the assistance of a council of ministers and officials. The administration was organized, and the king's authority extended over the territories under his control. The control of the kingdom was maintained through a centralized system, with the king's officials overseeing various aspects such as taxation, justice, and defense. The kingdom had a well-structured administrative system to govern its territories efficiently culture. Yapahua was a center of Buddhist culture during its reign. The main feature of Yapahua is the rock fortress, which served as a religious and cultural center. The fortress complex included a temple, the tooth relic shrine, and various other structures. The rock temple at Yapahua displayed remarkable architectural and artistic features, showcasing the influence of South Indian architectural styles. The kingdom also patronized the arts, and various forms of artistic expression such as sculpture, painting, and literature flourished during this period. The culture of Yapahua was influenced by both local traditions and external influences, creating a unique blend of artistic and cultural elements. Economy The economy of Yapahua was primarily agrarian, with agriculture playing a significant role. The kingdom was known for its cultivation of paddy, fruits, vegetables, and other crops. The region's fertile land and access to water resources supported agricultural activities. Trade and commerce also played a role in the kingdom's economy. Yapahua was strategically located along trade routes, facilitating trade with other regions. The kingdom had access to valuable resources such as gemstones and spices, which contributed to its economic prosperity. People The people of Yapahua were predominantly Sinhalese, who followed the teachings of Buddhism. The kingdom attracted scholars, artists, and craftsmen who contributed to the cultural and intellectual development of the region. The people of Yapahua were known for their craftsmanship, particularly in stone carving and metalwork. The kingdom also had a strong military presence, with soldiers and guards stationed to protect the royal palace and the fortress. The people of Yapahua lived in close proximity to the citadel, participating in the kingdom's religious and cultural activities. Overall, the kingdom of Yapahua holds significant historical and cultural importance in Sri Lanka. Although its reign was relatively short-lived, it left behind impressive architectural structures and a legacy of artistic expression. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel and share, like my videos.